Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss the following question. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, what can we say about its consecutive angles? So here we have a parallelogram. What we want to know is if we take a look at this angle here and this angle here, do they have any kind of special relationship? The answer is yes, and let's show how. So first what we're going to do is we're going to take this bottom side here and we're just going to extend it outwards. Okay. And we'll get rid of these momentarily. Notice that since this is a line, by definition, these two angles must be supplementary. In other words, they must add up to 180 degrees. So we'll go ahead and call this angle alpha and this angle beta. We know that alpha plus beta equals 180 degrees. Great. But if these two lines are parallel, then we can think of this side here as being a transversal. And the alternate interior angle theorem states that this angle and this angle must be equivalent. So we know that this is also alpha. OK. So we have alpha here and beta here. But we just showed earlier that alpha plus beta equals 180 degrees. And this logic can be used on any pair of adjacent angles in the parallelogram. So what we can conclude is that consecutive angles in a parallelogram must add up to 180 degrees. In other words, they must be supplementary. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, what can we say about its consecutive angles?